Welcome to A's Linguistics. This channel is about all things linguistic, discussing topics in phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, and sociolinguistics. So let's see what we've got today. Okay, sometimes you have, like you see, cran and straw and boysen and huckle, which only appear in these words. Sometimes there is a situation like camp, unkempt, in which case you don't have kempt. So kempt is not a word, but unkempt is un still contains its regular meaning, which is the opposite. Like it has, you feel, you, you see that negative element present there, but the word kempt is not used. Or, you know that in the word inept, you see that negative element is there, it's like incapable, but apt is not a word. Or the word inert, but ert is not a word. So again, in these situations, the question is, do they count as different morphemes? But they do. Inept, but uh, you can say this is a bound morpheme, okay? This is a bound morpheme. This is a bound morpheme. And this is a prefix, prefix, prefix. And we know that this negative meaning is here. So we know that this is, this is, this is still an active mor morpheme in English, right? These are active prefixes in English. So we know that negative element, which is still active. So we know that this is a morpheme and this, this is, has a meaning. The meaning is not clear in each case, it depends on the morphological context, but uh, they are bound. That's very important to know because they're not used separately. For example, when you say happy, happy is a, free morpheme and unhappy is a uh, is a word a, consisting of two morphemes prefix un but and the meaning of happy is known to us we know unkempt is something negative and un has that negative meaning so we know that unkempt is negative plus kempt Okay, we know for sure that the negative thing is there. And there are similar examples are like disgruntled. So gruntled is not a word, but in the same way you can compare it with disorganized. You know that this is a prefix, this is a prefix. You don't know exactly what this means to make dis disgruntled, see, to make discontent discontented or for example the word nondescript lacking distinctive qualities so you see lacking this negative element is here nondescript but of course descript is not a word so you can tr treat this as a bound root in all of these cases these are the bound roots so going back to our original question how many morphemes two Prefix plus bound root. Thanks for your time and attention. And see you again soon.